Yeah, hello guys. My name is Larry Ogutoye, and this is the Chemistry Experience on my YouTube channel, the Arid Education Online. So quickly, I want to take you through a few sample questions uh, associated uh, with titration under quantitative analysis. And this is to prep you for your WIAC exam. I'm pretty sure you are going to do absolutely well and excel, okay? So kindly like my channel. If you found the videos useful, share with your friends, uh, press the notification icon so that each time I drop videos, you will be notified. And I'm pretty sure you are on your way to getting your A1. So let's look at sample question two. We have considered sample question one. So let's look at sample question two quickly. This question says, a is a solution of triazole nitrate 5 acid containing 0.158 mole per dm cube solution, and B is a solution of sodium hydroxide containing x gram per dm cube of sodium hydroxide. Okay, you are asked to put solution A into the burette and titrate 25 cm cube proportion of B with A using a material orange as indicator. Those are the usual okay uh, rhetorics that follow. Uh, questions okay so now let's go straight into tackling the question it says concentration you have to calculate the concentration of a uh, solution a in grams per dnq of course you know in doing this titration in the laboratory you would have gotten your title value okay so let's assume that this table of result is um uh, my table for title value okay so the first thing you will need to do will be to calculate the average what the average title okay so Let's calculate the average title value from these particular values that we have here. The average title uh, value from this value that we have here. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. To calculate your average title, you are going to use your first titration, second titration, and third titration value. Okay, so here I will be using 15, 15 15.85, okay, plus 15. 0.8 plus 15.9 okay so we're going to add them together and divide the value by three so let's add up these values and divide by by three so we have 15.85 15.85 quickly 15.85 okay plus 15.8 plus 15.9 okay so that give us 47 47.55 so you are going to divide it by 3 because you are finding the average so this should give me uh, 15.85 okay 15.85 okay so 15.85 mil or cm cube is my average title value you should remember that one cm cube okay has the same uh, unit of value as one watt one mil this is very essential uh, for you to watch to note okay so now we have gotten our average data value it's very important so let's go ahead to solve this problem the first question there says calculate the concentration of solution a in grams per dm cube your solution a is nitric acid it told you solution a is nitric acid okay so you need to write down some values that you will need okay your volume of a that we use here your title value is 15 okay 0.85 15.85 me okay so you have 15.85 me there and i'm asked to calculate uh the concentration of a in grams per dnq this grams per dnq simply means you have to calculate what we call the mass what concentration okay you have to calculate the mass concentration okay so that is the value of grams per, per dmq calculating the mass what the mass concentration okay so what other value do we need to be able to calculate the mass concentration from the question we're also giving the concentration of the acid we're giving the concentration of the acid to be okay let's go back to the question get the concentration of your acid is 0 0.158 mole per dmq 0 0.158 mole per watt per dm cube 0 0.158 so we have 0 0.158 more per dm cube okay more per dm cube of what of acid now 
looking at this question, grants per D and Q bring out your formulas, okay, that will help you to be able to calculate this particular question. You should remember this formula, molar concentration, okay, your molar concentration, your molar concentration is equals to your mass concentration, your mass concentration, okay, divided by your molar mass, divided by your molar mass. So let's consider this particular Equi uh, equation molar concentration that is concentration in moles per dm cube moles per dm cube we're giving that from the question and that value is 0 0.158 mole per dm cube then the mass concentration is what we are looking for that is concentration in grams per dm cube now the molar mass can we calculate the molar mass of nitric acid molar mass of nitric acid will be the sum of all the relative atomic you know, mass of each of the constituent elements. So what's the correct formula for your nitric acid? You need to get the formula right if you have to calculate the molar mass correctly. So hydrogen is one from the question, okay? Hydrogen is one plus nitrogen. You're given nitrogen, which is 14 plus, okay? Oxygen is 16 times three. So we are going to be doing 3 times what? 3 times 16. Okay, so we add up all this together. We should get 63 grams, okay? And that is 63, 63 grams per what? Per mole. 63 grams per what? Per, per mole. That is the unit of the molar mass of what? Nitric acid. So let's insert all the values that we just got back into uh, equation. So let's make the mass concentration which we are looking for as the word as the subject of the formula. So mass concentration. So mass concentration. So mass concentration will be equals to the molar concentration. Okay, molar conch. Okay, molar conch multiplied by what molar mass. Molar conch multiplied by molar mass. So let's go do that directly. So what do we get here? Here, molar concentration is 0 0.158, right? Multiplied by molar mass. Molar mass we got is 63 grams. So if you bring all this together, you should get um, 9.54 grams per, per dm cube. So this value would be the value of your uh, molar will be the value of the mass concentration, which is grams per dm cube. The amount in mass of your acid available in 1000 ma or 1000 cm cube of solution. So we got 9.954 grams per dm cube. So let's look at question two. Now, so for your question one, we have gotten that value. So we need to write it down in case we need it again. So 54 grams per what? Per dm cube, okay. Yeah, I need I need a large pen. Okay, let's work with that. Okay, so we have gotten this right now. The next question says we should calculate the concentration of solution B in mole per dm cube, moles per dm cube. Okay, so the essence of your titration is to use uh, a known solution. Okay, to standardize an unknown solution. So you work from what you know to. Get the value of the unknown. So in order to be able to do this effectively, let's try to write the equation of the reaction. And of course, we need to write a balance equation for the reaction. This reaction is between nitric acid, okay, nitric acid and um, sodium hydroxide, okay, sodium hydroxide. Of course, they are aqueous solution, okay, aqueous solution of each of them to give us um, sodium nitrate. It's going to give sodium nitrate plus what? Plus water. So you need to check if your equation is what is balanced. It's very important that you use a balanced word equation. So looking at this equation, this equation is absolutely balanced. Balance means that um, here I have one mole of you know acid neutralizing one mole of base to form me one mole of salt and one mole of what of water. Okay, it's a ratio one to one. This this makes this calculation. A bit uh, easier. So remember your formula. 
that formula that tells you that concentration of acid multiplied by concentration by volume of acid okay should give you the number of moles of acid present because n equals to cv if you remember n equals to what cv okay so over concentration of base divided by volume of base to give you number of moles of what number of moles of of base so let's to make um c concentration of base in mole per d and q with the subject of the formula and that will be cv or cd okay you know the volume of acid volume of acid is your tighter value okay tighter value and that is 15.85 15.85 may okay that's the volume of acid your volume of base is the volume of base in your code in your conical flux that you uh, use your pipette to take that is 25 mil okay number of moles of acid is one okay from the equation here coefficient here is one okay number of moles of base number of moles of base is also what is also one okay your concentration of um of acid concentration of uh of acid which is uh ca okay we also have been given in the question so you need to go back to the question and bring out the concentration of acid that we are giving ca which is concentration of acid is 0 0.15 what 158 moles per what per dmq that is concentration of acid given so if you look at this out of these uh, six uh, parameters we have five we are left with one that we don't know and that is cb so we are going to make cb the subject of the formula so your cb just cross multiplied cb will be equals to what c a v a n a okay over what v b okay uh sorry c a v a n b n b so you need to watch out for such error v b and what and n a okay so your c a is what 0 0.0.158 okay it's very simple just v a is what 15 okay 0.85 multiplied by what your n b n b is 25 b okay 25 me then divide by volume uh volume of uh sorry n b is one okay n b is one please watch out n b is one n b is the ratio of the base n b is the ratio of the base in the equation of reaction okay is the ratio of the base so n b is one okay v b is 25 multiplied by n a which is one okay so let's find the uh the answers to this calculation so if you do your calculation press your calculator that should give you 0 0.1 wall 0 0.1 more per dm cube of what of base present there okay so now we have two parameters we have the concentration of the acid in grams per dm cube and the concentration of the base in more power per dm cube so let's look at how to calculate the concentration of solution b in grams per watt per dm cube okay so the value that we just got now that is the concentration of the base solution b in moles per dm cube so what formula connects uh, this together so we have another formula that says that your molar concentration okay your molar concentration is equal to what your mass concentration mass concentration is concentration in grams per dm cube is is very essential that you remember that concentration in grams per dm cube over molar mass over molar what over molar mass molar mass is grams per per mole okay so why your molar concentration is mole per what per dm cube you need to get familiar with the units for each of these concentration terms so i'm looking for concentration in grams per dm cube so you can see the way they stated in the question they say calculate the concentration in what in grams per dm cube that simply means they ask you to calculate the mass word concentration so calculating my mass concentration all i need to do is just to make my mass concentration the subject of the formula so my mass conch will be equals to what my molar conch okay molar concentration multiply by what by 
the molar what the molar mass okay so do you know your molar concentration that is the value that we calculated uh, just now the 0 0.1 mole that's the molar concentration of your what of your base okay so that is 0 point what 0 0.1 mole per dm cubes okay good now do you know the concent the molar mass of your base the base is sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide that is your base so how do you calculate the molar mass remember that molar mass is the sum of all the relative what atomic masses of the what constituent element so the molar mass of sodium hydroxide okay so the sodium hydroxide will be the mass of sodium plus the mass of oxygen plus the mass of what hydrogen check your question sodium is given to you as 23 oxygen is given as 16 and hydrogen is given as one so altogether this gives you 40 watt 40 grams so i'm going to transfer that to this now so i have 40 watt 40 grams per watt per mole so multiply this together you are going to be getting 4.0 okay uh, grams per watt per dm cube so this gives you the mass concentration for your watt for your acid that's the mass concentration of the acid isn't it getting interesting okay so having said this now the, the next question says that we should calculate we should calculate the number of hydrogen ions present in the tighter value number of hydrogen ions present in the tighter value okay so the tighter value here your tighter value is the value of the your tighter value okay okay is referring to the volume of acid use the volume of acid what use used so what is the volume of acid use here which is equal to what 15.85 mil that is the volume of what of acid use 15.85 mil so they are asking you to calculate the number of hydrogen ions present in the tighter value so hydrogen ion how do we come about hydrogen ion in the first place so you talk this your solution a which is your acid is nitric acid of course you know an acid is a substance that dissociates in solution to produce what hydrogen ion so if your nitric acid okay dissociate in solution is going to produce hydrogen ion okay and what and nitrate what nitrate ion aqueous nitrate ion okay so this is what will be what will be provided nitric acid hydrogen ion plus what plus nitrate ion so if you look at this one mole of nitric acid okay will produce one mole of hydrogen ion okay so that is um the the this this stoichiometry of the reaction and of course you know that one mole of any substance one mole of any substance contains what 6.02 10 power 23 particles of that substance. Okay, so it means that one mole of nitric acid will contain 6.02 times 10 power 23. Okay, hydrogen ion because from the equation it is ratio one to what to one. But you ask yourself the question. They say we should calculate the particles amount of particles or the number of particles present in the tidal value. Okay, present in the tighter value. So, how do you go about this calculation? You need to find the number of moles in that tighter value first. Find the number of moles of acid in that tighter value. And how do you do that? Find the number of moles. You use this formula N equals to CV. So, where C is the concentration of the acid and volume is the volume of acid used. Then you divide it by what? By 1000 because this v has to be in dm cube okay so the concentration of acid of uh, concentrated um hydrochloric acid that we calculated if you can remember concentration is 0 0.158 check the question 0 0.158 multiplied by the volume of acid used that is your tighter value that is 15.85 okay 15.85 me right okay so divide by 1000 divide by 1000 okay so whatever value that you get here will be the amount of what of acid present in dm what in dm cube the amount of acid present so now 
number of moles of acid present from your calculation press your your calculator so i'm going to get two two okay my calculator gives me 25.04 okay 25 2.54 times 10 is per what uh minus three okay times 10 is per minus three that is the value that i got uh for the amount in moles so this is the amount in moles of acid present in what in the tighter value present in present in the tighter value which is 15.85 may so that means that buret that you use 15.85 may contained what 2.504 times 10 power minus 3 um acid okay nitric acid and from the equation of reaction, we are able to establish that one mole of nitric acid, when it dissociates in water, is going to produce one mole of what of hydrogen, okay, one mole of hydrogen what ion. So therefore, if it is ratio, ratio, uh, what do you call it? Ratio one to one, it means that we can relate this to if one mole of any substance contains 6.02, okay, times 10 to the power 23. Therefore, therefore, okay, 2.504 times 10 to the power minus 3 moles, okay, would contain what? That's what we are looking at for now. So let's call that X. Therefore, X will be equal to what? 2.504 times 10 to the power what? minus 3 times what? 6.02 times 10 to the power what? 23. And so at the end of the day, you are going to be getting a very, you know, massive uh, number. So you need to uh, be aware of your standard form in doing this uh, kind of word calculation. It's very important. So you are going to be getting 0 0.0151 times 10 to the power what? 23. And of course, that could give you 1.51 times 10 to the power what? 23. 21 hydrogen ions that is the amount of hydrogen ions that will be present in your tighter okay value okay so i want to be sure that um, you have gone through this with me and you find it very very simple okay i'll be meeting you again in the sample question three where i'm going to be explaining to you in details another sample questions that will position you very well for your uh, exams and solving all calculation problems that they may pose uh, to you okay kindly like my channel okay press the notification icon so that each time i drop a video you will be notified and i assure you with this chemistry experience you are on your way to getting a1 in chemistry see you guys again thank you